Welcome to Episode 7 of the Sporty's Advanced Pilot Skill Series. I'm Spencer Suderman, Airshow Pilot, Flight Instructor, and Guinness World Record Holder for most inverted flat spins. In this episode, we're going to explore how bank angle and G-load is related. Now let's head out in a fully aerobatic Super Decathlon, where we'll start at 4,500 feet over the beach in St. Augustine, Florida. Bank angles versus load versus descent rate. We need to spend a little time talking about this. I think it's a little misunderstood amongst the pilot community. If you're banking and holding altitude, you're putting load on the wing. The more bank, the more load. You're getting your angle of attack closer to the critical angle of attack and risking a stall. So an extreme bank angle, say over 45 degrees up towards 60, 80 degrees, if you're trying to hold altitude in a bank, you're probably very close to a stall if your airspeed's low enough. If your airspeed's high enough, you're not at the risk of a stall. Where this comes into play is many pilots think that in the pattern, they can't do more than 30 degrees of bank. They've been told that by an instructor or some other pilot. And when I talk to pilots about this, the answer is often, well, if I overbank at low airspeed, I could stall the wing. True, if you're holding altitude. But what are you supposed to be doing in the pattern? You should be descending. If you're descending in the base to final turn, you should not be loading up the wing. Technically, you could use as much bank as you want. Now, should you? No. Anything more than 45 or 50 degrees of bank, you should consider powering back up the engine and going around. This demo, from level flight, I'm going to roll in bank, but I'm not going to increase back pressure. I'm not going to increase angle of attack. So I expect the plane to roll in. I'm going to do it coordinated with uh, use of rudder to counter the adverse yaw from the ailerons. I'm not going to add any additional lift. So I expect the airplane to drop, but I don't expect the G to increase. I'm currently at 1G on the G meter because I'm not trying to hold altitude. So here we go. I'm going to roll in. I'm not trying to hold altitude. And as I roll in more bank, I'm at 90 degrees. I'm sinking like a rock, but I'm looking at the G meter. It still says one. Now we're going to recover. Look at the rise and unload, roll level, recover level flight. And I'll climb back up. I'm already down to 3,000 feet. Lost a significant amount of altitude because I wasn't trying to hold it. I just wanted to demonstrate that extreme bank angles without trying to hold altitude don't result in increased G loads. Now some pilots may find that rather alarming to have that much bank and be dropping so fast. Now I'm going to put the airplane in a 45 degree turn. I'm going to trim it so it can fly hands off and then we'll play with that a little bit. Roll in a little bit of rudder for adverse yaw. Now I pull back, start the turn and I'm going to trim it so the airplane stays right here. There we go. Now I'm flying hands off in a steep turn. I'm not losing altitude. I'm looking at the G meter. It's running about little about 1.5 G. And look at that. The airplane, my feet are off the rudder pedals. My hands are off the stick, and it's just maintaining. And I'm holding altitude. Uh, it's rolling in a little bit more. Now that's the dihedral effect of overbanking. And it's actually starting to tighten itself up and go faster. As we descend, now I'm pulling over two Gs. So let's go ahead and recover. So I'll look at the horizon, unload, full wings level, recover to level flight. One of the benefits of dihedral wings is that in small upsets, the wings tend to level themselves and the plane flies straight. However, in deep turns, it has the opposite effect. It tends to tighten up the turn, increase the bank and the G load. So let's do something that's a little more close to the flying in the pattern scenario. I'm going to lower the airspeed pattern speed. So now I'm at a airspeed I might be at in the pattern, about 75 miles an hour. And I'm going to put in some bank, more than 30. Notice, wing's not stalling. I'm sinking like a rock. And you got to be careful because if you snatch that stick back, uh, you can hide G the airplane. But I've already lost a thousand feet without even trying. This is what instructors are afraid students are going to do. They're going to put in more bank, the plane's going to sink, they're going to snatch the stick back, and they're going to hit the ground because they're not in control of the airplane. They become a passenger at that point. All right, well, it's time to turn around and head back to the airport. So let me use an Immelman, which is a half loop and a half roll. Since we're in the Super Decathlon, might as well enjoy its capabilities. Hit my target airspeed, 160 miles an hour. Bring it to level, stop, look around. Pull up into my half loop. Relax the stick, do my half roll. Look at that, I'm headed right back towards the airport. 
I'm making my approach high on purpose so I can demonstrate the use of slipping as a tool in a plane with no flap. The wind is from the left, 080. The runway heading is 13. So we're pretty high right now. I'm going to have to use a slip to get down to the runway, a forward slip, take altitude off. I've got the correct airspeed dialed in. Look at that. I look pretty high, don't I? So I'm going to drop my left wing. I'm going to put in a bunch of right rudder. Power's all the way out. And I should be able to slip the airplane all the way down to the runway. That's working out really well. Actually, get some of that slip out. A nice controlled descent. Left wing's down. Hit a right rudder in. I'll hold the slip all the way to the runway. Right in the three-point attitude. Transition to the flare. That nose up. Upwind main. Other main. We're down. Are you ready to continue your aviation journey and further expand your flight skills? Check out one of Sporty's exciting aviation courses, which include everything from private pilot training, how to fly tailwheel airplanes, and aerobatic training with Patty Wagstaff. Visit sporties.com forward slash discover for more information.